Hi, I'm David Finch. I'm with Element 14. And I have here today the new Raspberry Pi Model B Plus. And I just wanted to take it out of the box here and share with you some of the new features that it offers. So like your uh, other Raspberry Pi, uh, you will be receiving uh, in the anti-static bag, nice and sealed, um, the Raspberry Pi Model B Plus in the bag, as well as the uh, official Raspberry Pi regulatory compliance and safety information card that also comes in the box. I already have some sitting out here, so I don't need to crack this open. So we have here the B+, and we're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison with the Model B. As you can see on the, uh, the new B+, it's actually the same uh, Broadcom processor uh, with the same memory and the same support for HDMI, uh, audio out, component video out, USB, Ethernet, and, uh, and SD card support. But there are a few key changes in the board, especially in the layout, uh, that I wanted to share with you. One of the hardware changes that was made was actually uh, related to power consumption. So the new Model B Plus will operate at 600 milliamps uh, as opposed to 750 milliamps on your current B. The other enhancement that they made on the Model B Plus in terms of power is uh, you can now supply the Model B Plus with 1.2 amps uh, from your power supply, and this is used to drive additional USB peripherals, but we'll get to that in a second. Essentially, with the Model B Plus, you can do more. Uh, we've added a lot of expansion. So uh, as you can see on the Model B, whereas before you had two USB receptacles, well, now you've got four, um, so you can actually connect more devices, more peripherals to your Pi. Another area that has been expanded on the Model B Plus is, uh, as you can see, there's a 40-pin GPIO header now. And uh, what this does is it allows you, obviously, to interact more with the world around you, um, connect even bigger, uh, more fully featured add-on cards as they become available. Uh, the nice thing is, of course, the uh, care was taken on the first 26 pins to maintain compatibility, full 100% backwards compatibility with your existing Pi. So those first 26 pins don't change. They've just added 14 more pins. Things that Model B users will notice immediately is that they've consolidated the audio and the composite video jack into a single four-pole jack that accommodates both the composite video output as well as the analog output. Flipping the board over, you can see that the original SD card adapter has been replaced now, upgraded, with a micro SD. This is a significant improvement, especially if you utilize the case. Now your SD card won't necessarily be sticking off the end of the board, getting damaged, broken, or even stolen. So this is a great improvement. Now speaking of micro SD, your Raspberry Pi Model B Plus will ship with the most up-to-date Pi operating system, and that will ship on your micro SD card. And of course, there'll be an adapter on there as well for your standard SD ports. So there you have it. There's your first glimpse at the Raspberry Pi Model B Plus. Now, if you have any questions or if you want to learn more, please click on the link to visit the Element 14 community. Thanks for your time.